That way, Jake, just about a foot now. Go about an inch deep and about a foot. And then bring it up. And then bring it up and see if we got anything. John, can you do the same right, thing there? I did go back and look at sites one and two today. We will be able to get in the water at one and two. Now, it's not, it's not pretty. It's a lot of mud. The, you're going to need the hip waders. This is my home territory. I, was, I grew up on the Shell Creek northwest of Newman Grove, and it's always been our, our creek. The Shell Creek water, Watershed Project has always been part of our school for a long time. We started the Shell Creek Watershed Project back in uh, 2002. We could see an increased erosion and flooding problem, and, and we just got together and decided that we ought to do something about it. They wanted to try and make some improvements uh, in the farming practices along the Shell Creek, and they felt the only way that they could know whether improvements were being made is if you know where you're at now. My biggest responsibility is usually keeping track of data and running the chemical test. Yeah, we have nine different te chemical tests that we do. I'm the nitrate guru, <laughs> have been since I started. One of the first stages we go through when we first start in the month of May is teaching because we had a lot of new um, newbies is what we call them this year. So we had to teach them all the different tests we do. The pink ones don't count, but the darker purple ones do here. And the blue is another. People appreciate what I do and it's fun. I, there's a lot of memories that we make here. If you're ever going to get students excited about science, they have to be out and do it and discover things that are not known yet. I'm definitely going to be back next year after I graduate and be still continuing the project. The Shell Creek is a stream that runs through five counties and covers almost 110 miles of Nebraska ground. It drains more than 300,000 acres of the farmland surrounding it. The land surrounding the watershed, as well as the water itself, has suffered from the high atrazine levels. Atrazine is a herbicide that is used in corn production to keep weeds out of the field. So it's a real important contribution to crop growth and profitability in agriculture. But there was atrazine levels in, in the stream itself that were unsafe for, for virtually any use. So the Shell Creek Watershed Improvement Group was founded in Newman Grove in 1999 to identify and promote needed conservation practices within the watershed. The Shell Creek has been on the impaired waters list for quite a number of years. And that was due to the fact that uh, atrazine uh, was running off into the stream. 110 miles of this creek that needed remediation, needed cleanup, to get atrazine out. And it was not the EPA, it was not government officials that got together and said, we need to do something about that. It was landowners in Nebraska to say, we must take ownership and do something about it. I remember exactly where I was when I heard. It was actually at an NRD meeting. Well, I, I usually don't read emails till the evening and Albert Trailer sent me an email personally and then, then I had a couple of phone calls that night. Uh, I think I was on social media. And my mom gave me a call and she's like, hey, did you hear? Well, I got a text message from Matt Bailey. I was sitting in chemistry class, and before we started class, Mr. Sire is always like, do we have any old business? And then that's when he told us. This is the first time in the state of Nebraska and nationally that a watershed has been taken off the impaired waters list for atrazine because of an environmental management improvement plan like this one. It was an amazing feeling, and not just by me, but by the rest of the Shell Creek Watershed Improvement Group, uh, the NRD board, and when I came back and uh, talked to the students about it, they were, they were very excited. Again, they didn't know a lot about it then because we didn't know that was a possibility. I'll be honest with you, I never in my wildest dreams thought I'd see a day like today where we had made such an improvement within the stream in such a short amount of time. This is a big team effort to get to where we are today. It involved a lot of different groups, from high school students at Schuyler and Newman Grove to the EPA to be able to make this happen. Under the guidance of the school science teacher, Mark Sire, and the agricultural instructor of the time, Gene Wissenberg, for two days each month from May to August, approximately 20 Newman Grove high school students, which is nearly half of our high school, 
<laughs> volunteer to collect samples and measurements to determine the water quality of the Shell Creek watershed. After we have collected all summer, uh, the students then put together a PowerPoint presentation and give that report to our local uh, NRD and to any other community members who show up to hear what they have to say. I am originally not from Newman Grove, so to be honest, when I was first asked to jump on board and be an advisor for the Shell Creek, I really didn't have a passion for it. I didn't really care strongly for the Shell Creek. It's when you get out here and you see the students testing the water and you see the actual learning experience that they're getting that you really start to develop that passion and start caring for the Shell Creek. It was eye-opening to me as a high school student because we would go at just different times of the summer and sometimes we would go out after a big rain event and seeing the impacts of the on the water after that big rain event was eye opening like and just connecting those dots as a student to say okay that's erosion that's runoff and here it is right before our eyes and looking at um, the the data that was showing us that too which is this? This is a left one. This is a left-hand snake. Oh, yeah. Many of you are probably wondering why so many students are willing to come back and help with this project. Not only is it fun, but it makes us feel something, I don't know, unexplainable. Personally, it means a lot to me to give back and do my part in making a difference. Everyone that has ever been a part of this project has learned things that they have taken with them for the rest of their lives. I am a high school science teacher. I did not think I was gonna be a high school science teacher. I thought uh, science was something far from my mind at the time. Uh, it wasn't until uh, science classes in high school that kind of got my interest in science. Uh, and then I started looking towards medical field. And then eventually that led me to being a science teacher. I'm currently a fisheries biologist in the state of Nebraska for the Game and Parks Commission. I'm currently stationed in Kearney, Nebraska. Uh, I went to high school in 2008 in Newman Grove. I really didn't have any clue on what I did, no sense of direction. Then with Mark Sire being the teacher that he is and setting his uh, stamp on a lot of us, it really kind of set the stage for us to advance our careers. A lot of the same work that I have done in high school, I currently do today. I am a registered nurse. I work in a critical care setting in a hospital in Omaha. I think it definitely taught me to get involved in something bigger than just myself. Um, being involved in extracurricular activities that affect not only what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, but my community and my surroundings. Also, I've taken that over into my nursing field. I've get in, gotten involved in many um, other projects that the hospital does. I, I want to make a difference in my community and not just in my own world. I'm a fisheries technician at the North Platte State Fish Hatchery with the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission. Brought me to where I am today. Uh, I graduated from New Grove in 2008, went to school at the University of Nebraska Kearney. Uh, I'm actually currently going to school right now, finishing my master's uh, in fisheries biology while I'm working for the Nebraska Game and Parks. And a lot of that is due to the work that we did on the Shell Creek. As a member of this group, I'm excited to tell you that we have over 15 years of solid data collected and analyzed by this group. The data is used by the local Natural Resource District and several groups hired to improve the creek's quality. Between the Shell Creek Watershed Improvement Group and the Newman Grove High School Research Team, you can see people have become more aware of the issue and continue to implement practices that will help conserve our stream. The students were great. First of all, they found the niche that they could play you know, as students working in a community, they're not the farmers, they're not the decision makers on the land, but they found a place, a role that they could play that really helped them learn about water quality and make a contribution to the watershed. The work of the students and the volunteers involved in this watershed project would be really hard to calculate, but probably in the hundreds of thousands of dollars if, uh, if the state of Nebraska had to come in and do all this testing and all this legwork that the students do and that our volunteers do. I'm a born and raised in Nebraska. Nebraska never left the state and never plan on leaving the state. I'm hoping to make my impact right here because it's our home. This is where we're from. So this is, this is where we grew up. These are where our families live. This is where a lot of people's kids are gonna be starting to take over the farms and everything else. So um, it's really important that we clean up this area because this is the area that we live. And if we, if we do it here, it shows other people that they can do it where they live too if they want to.